gonna ask a question. I don't know how, why, I'm, why I'm asking this question because I'm like that, I guess. Um, what? And I know the political right thing to say. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna see if it goes this way. And I'm not saying it's not. Okay. Right, so. But is losing a house more painful than almost losing maybe someone in your family? For me, it was, right. and I'll explain sure. why. Sure. I knew my parents were dying. Right. I had two years to prepare. Okay. Both my parents had been given death sentences from their doctors. My dad had congestive heart failure. My dad had dementia. Um, my dad was declining fast. Right. And they told us to prepare. Okay. I had to put my father in hospice. Mm -hmm. I had to make the decision because my mother had stage four adrenal kidney failure, mm -hmm. stage five COPD, breast cancer, and was on oxygen and dialysis. Damn. They, were, they had been given death sentences. Yeah. And watching two of the most lively people deteriorate as fast as they did, because I was taking care of my parents, too. In the midst of everything I was doing, I was flying back and forth to Virginia every week, dealing with stuff, taking care of my parents. And um, I knew I was able to prepare for that. It hurt like hell, sure. but losing a fire and losing everything like that, that hurt like hell. Yeah. And it still hurts. I actually went today because I'm, I'm shooting a show on HGTV, and I had to go today to the old lot because there's nothing but a concrete slab now, and I became emotional again. Of course. Because I'm like, my house used to be here, and everything I worked for, it was in it. Like, you know, so it, do I, I was able to make peace with my parents because they right. suffered so much. I'm so glad. I'm actually at peace that they're gone because I know they're not suffering. They were in so right. much pain. But that, that's going to hurt for a minute. I still have nightmares. Right. I, I, I still have I, nightmares I every week. Now, now the flip side of it, the love and support you got from Man, me. look. Probably, you couldn't <laughs> even believe. People probably hit you up because you never heard of before. No, you seriously. No, of course. People I thought didn't like me Ooh. called me. I heard that. You know, so I was right. shocked Right, as hell. Right, right, right. You know, and. Um, um, if you, I mean, I don't think there's nothing wrong with it. Can you tell me some people just reached out to you? Like, who's your friends? You know, people God. kind of, yeah. Ooh, they reached out. Marlon Wayans, nice. Tyler Perry, of course. We'll get to that. Uh, Tasha Smith, Tammy Good. Roman, oh, nice. Columbus Short. Um, oh. Let me see. Uh, Lil Rail, Dion Cole, Lottie Love. Uh, Damn. Let me see. Byron Allen. What? Uh, yeah, it was mind wow. blowing. It was mind blowing. Well, anybody that you hadn't like like knew like you know you, you, you know, these people you might have dealt with in some certain amount like somebody just surprised like damn you'd even call like not, Chris, not that they were um, uh uh, what is Chris's last name? Jesus. He's on Big Door Prize with me. He's the lead in Big Door but he, Prize. But, but he's, he's in a movie with you. Yeah, we do a TV, TV show, show together. Show. But, but a lot of the cast movie. members from Never Have I Ever reached out. I was so shocked at well, that. I, but but you did. You did but a show anybody? With them. Well, I mean, yeah, like, I, somebody, like I, damn. Hadn't, I hadn't talked to Tyler in four years. I hadn't talked to Byron Allen in eight. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. like yeah. wow. Right. You know. What, what what did you think you were going to do? What was your next step do you think you were going to do? Have to do? I, mean, I guess it's, I know the insurance thing, but like, what did you really think? Like, I'm going to get a townhouse for a second, for a year, and then build my money back Honestly, up? Honestly, I thought for a second God was telling me to go back to L.A. What? For a hot second. That was hot. That was hot. For a hot, hot second. Yeah. Yeah. yeah God, God was like, you know, it's time for you. Because I left L.A. Uh, calling myself healing from my divorce. And I needed to just detach from everything for a second. But then I realized God moved me to Atlanta to take care of my parents because he knew I couldn't have done that all the way from, from, from LA. LA right. So I get that. So I thought maybe for a hot minute, him taking everything and giving me a clean slate meant for me to go back to LA. Okay. That was fleeting because uh, one, my child ain't going to nobody LA unified school system. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> no, <that's laughs> sorry, right. but he's not. Um, and then two, it's like uprooting my child. It all, it all kind of boiled down to uprooting my child, but also to the cost of living. We live quite comfortably. Right, right. right. I can but take a month off in Georgia. I can't take a month off in L.A. Yeah, I'm just yeah, I can't take a month off in L.A. I can take a month off here in Georgia, P. I know that's right. You know what I'm saying? And so I okay. can be mama for a full right, month right. and not you miss. You can't nothing. do that in L.A. No sir. You, yeah, I, I think no, a six-hour break, but I gotta get back to work. Right, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You know. No, no, um, on that. But then. You know, honestly, it was kind of like, what do I do now? Um, I I have to give much love to Tyler Perry. I mean, I was going to ask you, but right before I get to that, though, with, um, with everybody calling you, mm -hmm. I remember something happened to me. I can't remember what it was. It was but, so many people. But, oh, but, but people hit me that I started feeling 
good about myself better, even better. Like, I guess I am a good person. Not like I didn't think I was a good person, but like, yeah. damn, I really affect people. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, somebody you don't know that. You know, you don't know that you affect mm-hmm. people the way you do, you know, enough for them to call you. You know what I'm well, saying? Well, that's the thing. Um, before this happened, P, I can't lie, I felt invisible. I was thinking about quitting the business. I just felt like I was just casting my pearls among swines. I was spinning wheels. I was wasting my time. I said, I'm educated. I got degrees. Why am I doing this bullshit? I have a child to take care of. I'm always on the road chasing something that I feel like may or may not ever truly happen. I'm tired. I know that's right. So, and I felt like, won't nobody checking for me? No how. So what does it freaking matter? So when this happened and all the people came to my aid and everybody said the same thing. You're such a good person, Coca. You're such a good person. You're such a good heart. And I hate this happening to you. How can I help? That's Some cool. didn't even ask, how can I help? It was, what's your cash app? Yeah. What's your Venmo? Yeah, 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 yeah. What's your Zale? And I'm like, what? And then some of the amounts, I mean, Chris Tucker, right. the check he handed me, I was like, bruh, you right, know. Right, sure. uh, Tammy Roman, I was like, girl, you know. Right, right. And I mean, people, period. I mean, you know, Country Wayne, I could just go down the list. Right. And I'm like, and it wasn't even the dollar amount because there were people giving me, and this is the thing. I didn't know that my brother and my assistant had put a GoFundMe together. Right. right. I had no idea. Right. Until people started calling me because people were being quite nasty about the GoFundMe. Saying what the hell she need that for. She got money. She must not have no damn insurance and blah, blah, blah. And I'm thinking it shows the ignorance of people. Because where do you lose a house on a fire and Allstate writes you a check the day after? Right. Sure. I mean, just saying in general, any insurance company or whatever. And I'm sitting up here like... People really ignorant. Right. <laughs> of course, right. I have insurance. Right. I wouldn't be in this hotel, right. you know, getting paid for if it wasn't but for insurance. Why? But why? But why when she's down? But no, people. People were mean. I had one particular person literally tell people on their um, very well-known person, well-known really? person, went on their Instagram and told people that GoFundMe was a scam and they shouldn't donate to me. Those are the exact words. Nah. So if it, you I, know I, her, I just call her. And right. I'm thinking, well, bitch, you ain't call me. <laughs> she, she ain't part of your circle? <laughs> okay. you, you didn't call right, me, but right. yet you're telling people that GoFundMe is a scam and you shouldn't donate to me. Right. And if you don't know me like that, just pray for me. Oh my God. And I had strangers donating like $10 right. saying you were just so nice to me in the airport and this is all I have. That meant more to me than the sure. commas and the thousands because I'm like, wow, that means I really touched somebody that right. they would give me sure. that last? Sure. That's crazy. Sure. And for the record, I have not touched that GoFundMe money. Ooh. How about that? I know that's right. Oh, I, <laughs> well, let me know. How did the fire start? I can't say. Oh, Legally. Sure. Oh, wow. Legally, I can't say. Yeah, yeah. A little wee wee. I'll just say this. Yeah. It was a candle. Okay. But other that's all I can okay. say. A Jamaican one. That's all I can say. Right. That's all I can yeah. say. Okay. <laughs> all, right. Yeah. all right. So then, you know, you're, you're, you're down in the dumps mentally, whatever. Your house is burnt yeah. up. You lost everything. Damn yeah. it, except for the stuff in your, mother, your you know, your, in the garage. Yeah. You're thinking, how am I going to regroup and start all over again? It's hard enough to, to get the house the first time and yeah. maintain. You know, you were lucky enough to get in and you got yeah. it. You did it. Yeah. And out of nowhere, mm-hmm. the man of shining armor. Mm. Open that big ass paycheck. <laughs> I mean, I was shocked. I was shocked, you know, because I, I would have never like, thought to call him. You told me, so you let us say, and he bought you a fucking basically bought your bought you a house. Well, he paid off my house that burned down. Okay, okay. And then what was left over was used towards the new house. Oh, okay. With the with, pool. With the with the pool. With the pool. With the money I got from paying off the house. What was left over from paying off the house. So we don't have a mortgage anymore? No, sir. God. I have no mortgage. (laughs) If you like that clip, hit the subscribe button or the notification bell. In fact, why don't you hit both of them?